I ruined her life. We've known each other since the age of 12. She is my first crush and I am hers. Our families moved around to different countries, but we stayed in contact. Thank you, Facebook. It was forward 18 years later. Uh, we connected again. She fulfilled her dream of becoming a doctor. I am doing pretty well and well-established. The spark rekindled and many months later, we got married. Best partners for each other. I asked her to come live with me in Canada. She agreed. She said I could become a doctor in Canada too. She arrived in early 2020 then COVID. Um, she studied for the exams. She passed with flying colors. She delayed the exams a little because she got pregnant. Um, and then a uh, miscarriage tried again, then another miscarriage. Uh, she continued applying for medical residency, getting interviews, but never got an offer. It's been three years. She's miserable. She can't go back to her country to practice. Her license expired. The longer she is out of practice, the harder it is for her to get an offer. Five miscarriages later, including an IVFF. It turns out my DNA is fucked up. It turns out that I'm the reason the pregnancy is ending at eight weeks. She's about to become 35. She's not getting younger. I can see her body hurting because of this. Yeah. During COVID, my parents had me five years old, needed a place to go. So they moved in with me. She always loved them. They love her. But now it's a bit too much. It's stressful. They are old and not the same even from a few months ago. Keep nagging and... Uh, changing things in the house. She came here because of me. Now she lost her career, her dream. Here she can't start a family because of me. You can't even be at peace in her house. Also, because of me, I even got her a puppy and the little fucker chose me as his person. I ruined her life. The gem, the flower that I met many years ago is withering. I feel, I feel so guilty. Uh, guilt is eating me alive. It's so heavy I can barely breathe. For most people asking her home country is Libya. Libya is currently fucked up and war torn. She doesn't feel safe going back there. She happily ran out of there because I'll tell you one of her stories. Okay. Working in the emergency room, a group of people came with an injured person, put a gun to her head and told her if he dies, you die too. I don't know about you, but I don't want her to go back there too. 